right. Checking the mic. There we go. This is Judah. He is my youngest son. You're, how old are you? Six. You're six years old. How many teeth do you have missing? One. One in the front. All right. We went over some of these things. You want to be baptized. Why do you want to be baptized? Because I believe in the Lord. You believe in the Lord. That's awesome, buddy. Um, so maybe before I ask you a couple more questions. Me, uh, he's been doing Awanas. Never had anybody in my family do Awanas. And Awanas is amazing. And uh, the Lord has just captured your heart. Me and mom have seen this. And uh, a few months ago, you really wanted to believe in Jesus and go to heaven. And you've been memorizing some scripture, too. Do you want to share a scripture? For God stole the world that he gave his only son that we shall not perish but have eternal life. There we go. What is that verse? John 3, 16. Why? Yeah, why is that important? Because, it, because it's about God. Good enough for me. <laughs> all right. So you believe in the Lord, and do you remember what baptism is all about? Okay. It's about showing everybody that you love the Lord. Okay. And you love the Lord, and you want to show everybody? Yes. All right. Well, let's get you baptized. Well, if that was it, that's okay with me. Um, we got one more person that wants to get baptized that I know of. I don't know if you guys are like, I want to take a bath. Um, you want to come up here, bro? All right. This is my buddy. I'm going to let him tell his story. But I just got to officiate his wedding. This is, a, this is a big month for you and me. I got, a, you know, the honor of doing your wedding. And um, you've loved the Lord for a long time. And so, you know, what you shared with me uh, was wonderful. So maybe you're going to share something like yeah. what you shared with me. What's up, guys? It's probably weird that I'm coming up here to get baptized, so let me explain a little bit. So as you guys probably all know, I lead Recycle God's Love, the homeless ministry, and I got baptized like at 10, I think. I don't actually remember. I think it was about 10 years old. Um, and I just recalled that the reason I did it, I wasn't even saved. I did it because my brothers did it, and I was just trying to be cool, right? And so that's when I got baptized. And so I got saved at about 21. Um, and a lot of you know my testimony and stuff. And it, I always was like, yeah, I'll get baptized again at some point. And I was like, I want to do it in this specific situation in the specific way with the specific people and like all these things in my head. And then it just kind of got pushed off. Um, and then this past, uh, you know, 
at the end of last year, I was having a fellowship with my group and we started talking about baptism. And I like, God was really convicting my heart. He was like, hey, you still haven't gone out and got baptized in front of your people. And so um, just super convicted about that and was like, man, I really do need to do it the right way and be obedient to God and just be baptized in front of the congregation and all these people that I love. Um, and uh, the reason I want to get baptized, though, is because, man, I've got, I've got my mom here. I've got my mother-in-law here, um, my wife, and uh, it's uh, these two ladies, my mom and my mother-in-law, have seen me since I was a little dirt bag, I would say. I was, I was a troublemaker. I was, a, I was a sinner, and I, I had done some some stupid stuff in my life. And uh, Jesus Christ met me at a low spot and just he showed me that he was all I needed and um, all the desires of my heart my my wicked heart were leading me to death and to hell and he showed me that I could be forgiven of all that and it could be washed away by his spirit and it was and it continues to be. And he's covered me in his blood. And now I want to show everybody that he is the risen king, Jesus Christ. I am unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I want to proclaim the gospel to everybody that I know. And I want to serve the poor. And I want to help those who need help. And I want to minister to those who are grieving. And this is the testimony that God has put on my life. And so... Let's get dunked. Well, I love you, bro. Let's go over here. And uh, honored, I think, too, just the humility uh, of this brother. You know, he's, he's a minister in this house, uh, but it's an act of obedience. And so just thankful uh, for your example in this. So let's get him dunked. Okay, we got one more. Yeah, okay, great. Let's do it. She's back there. We got another one. Let's cheer her on. Let Peyton, Peyton. They're, they're com are they coming? Okay. Are we coming forward? Peyton, all right. Yay. Okay. Yeah, come on over. All right. Now you're not getting back. 
baptized, but this guy is here. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, baptism is for those that believe in Jesus. Are you, you want to get baptized? <laughs> and that's okay. And that's okay. I think um, maybe, yeah. Because um, baptism is for those that believe in Jesus, communicate the gospel. We're going to pray a blessing and dedicate Peyton to the Lord. Okay? And, and, and with, this, with this, there's something that we do as a congregation and community. That when we see Peyton, we bless him. We encourage him in Jesus. We want to see him in a year or two be able to communicate the gospel and baptize him and to be able to do that, you know? So let's, if you could, just uh, raise your hand out and we're going to pray and dedicate Peyton. Father, we are thankful for this young man. Lord, we are thankful that this family is in this house. Lord, a, a mother that desires to have a son that loves you and serves you like Hannah and Samuel. And so, Lord, we bless him. Holy Spirit, would you come and, and love him? Lord, draw him to yourself by your loving kindness. Lord, reveal who you are to him. And God, use us in this place to bless him and encourage him. And so we just ask a blessing as we dedicate this young man and this family to you. And so, Lord, we ask that uh, you would also just pour your spirit upon him. Lord, we know that you have great plans for him, a future and a hope, Lord. And so we can't wait to see it and be a part of it. And so we just bless this young child in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Right, guys. Well. I think, unless there's somebody up. Yeah, here we go. Woo! Justin in the house. See, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. All right, Justin Sangenberger. You know how many times I practiced that name? A lot. A lot of times. I did. I got to marry this guy, too. I didn't marry him. I uh, officiated his wedding. Just Uh, when I was a baby, I was baptized. The decision was taken away from me. And I was uh, praying a lot about it and talking with my wife about it. And after over a year of having my, my son in the world and kind of thinking this over, it just came to me to understand that uh, we are all, when, when, when we believe in Christ, we're baptized in the Holy Spirit. And that the scripture that says, Ephesians 4, 5, there is uh, one, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. And I always hung up on that. And I've come to understand that that baptism is in the Holy Spirit. And this baptism is about coming before the community and making this statement in public and in great understanding of the Lord. And that's where I'm at. And so seeing Jamie here tonight, today, and... Uh, seeing even the little one who came up and just couldn't profess. The, it, it just is right today for me. So here I am. Well, it's an honor for me. And uh, just seeing what the Lord's done in your life from even the Marshall Fire and how you've served this community so well to getting married, to having a son, and all the things that you've done in secret. Uh, around this house, uh, it's an honor to, to do it. So let's take off those shoes. 
If you got uh, phones in your pockets, let's get those out too.